What are you doing, bud? <laughs> hey. What do you think? Okay, you want to count the nodes with me? Yeah. Okay, so we're in our relay field, and I want to talk about relay cropping and the fact we've already pulled 75 bushel uh, wheat off of this field in twin 37 inch rows. But the beans are a completely different uh, structure than our monocrops, and I'll explain uh, why that happens. If you've noticed, um, do a lot of little tiny experiments here and there and and we made a uh, 1197 plant grow 31 ears and if you walk up to it it's not much taller than me and you get out in here and this corn's 10 or 11 feet in our 20 inch corn so just that in itself is a big uh the the plant structure is very important in relay cropping um so the wider row wheat behaves differently it doesn't grow as tall and bushes out side to side and we get our heads in a half circle but when we get that out of the way the space allows for a different uh, growth structure for the beans um, so we pick a bushy bean to begin with planted in March that in itself will shorten it up but because when we take the weed out of the way and it's trying to grow laterally side to side to capture more sunlight it doesn't have the ambition to grow vertically so we start to stack the nodes and the other thing that allows it to do when we can get some sunlight to infiltrate on the sides of uh, these beans we get really flexy beans here on the edge but it gives more energy to these bottom nodes and what happens as I push uh, these beans you know I push a uh, corn crop and a bean plot in the plot to kind of see what it's upper limits are and we always start to lose beans on the bottom nodes as we get deep into August whether it's uh, the Sun or whether it's moisture I don't know but we usually lose a lot of these down here at the bottom but we're retaining them here and uh, I've got 16 or 17 nodes in my hand high management plot we'll go ahead and count these here we got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one so we're accomplishing four more nodes uh, than we are in our monocrop uh, beans that were planted in later April uh, because of, of what I talked about just a second ago the the the, the plant wanting to grow horizontal instead of vertical changes the plant structure and stacks these nodes uh, closer together and, and allows more sunlight to give more energy to these lower nodes to retain and actually fire more uh, blooms and pods so we're you know, you know we're approaching you know August 18th we've still got uh, blooms up top making nodes and a lot of these nodes are still got some blooms and some pods coming on uh, some of these upper nodes so as far as reproduction we started flowering with the wheat in late April. That's when our, our first head started coming out. We started R1 on the beans around June 6th. So both were in reproductive modes together for the month of June, our most productive you know, sunlight month. And now as we extend reproduction in these beans, we're having this field in reproduction. It's going to be four months. And the sharing the load is what this is about. You know, we've got our traditional double crops over there, but we planted three times as much wheat seed and twice as much bean seed. And we had this dead zone where the, the wheat was drying down in the month of June and the beans were trying to come up and canopy in the month of July where this field was growing uh, at the same time. So anyway, there's a lot of fours on here. There's a four, there's a four, there's a four. Seems like there's a four on every node. This guy's averaging somewhere between seven or eight per node, and you have 22 nodes. So uh, do the math, we're in the mid 100s with this one plant. So um, you really notice that if we increase reproductive time and beans, really doesn't matter. If you've got more than 50,000 plants, you know, you're only going to lose a bush or two compared to 100 because if it's got the time, it'll branch out and you retain more. Uh, 
beans per node, especially down low. So it'll be interesting. We, uh, we've got ground moisture. It looks like rain's in the forecast. Um, you know, I don't know what this will average, but I think this spot in here, I think it'll bog the combine down pretty good. Might, might hit 100 right here. All right, say goodbye. Bye. <laughs> Thanks for watching.